right, guys, welcome to my conversation with your 7A, 132-pound Georgia State champion, Maddox MacArthur of Buford. Maddox, um, how does that sound? Uh, pretty pretty nice, right? Yeah, sounds great. Um, I was able to get it done as a freshman and then came up short last year, so I've been waiting a whole year to hear that again. So really excited to get the job done again. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm going to ask you about kind of that process, but we're going to get to that in a few minutes. Let's talk about a few things off the mat that um, that people may not know about Maddox MacArthur. I may not know about Maddox MacArthur. So first is, oh, I lost you a little bit. Uh, first is, what's your, what's your best subject in school? Best subject? Uh, I'm pretty good in ELA. I can read and write fairly well. Um, social studies, I'm pretty good at. I'm not very good at math, I'll admit. Um, luckily, I know how much a takedown is, but that's about it. <laughs> All right, hey, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Are you a fan of three or two? I like the three-point takedown. Um, you know, we had it at Super 32, and I thought it was a great addition. Really pushed the action. You know, I think it's important to uh, to score everywhere. So I like a little bit more incentive on the feet. All right. And you'd be all about it if if, uh, if high school started to do that. Oh yeah, I love it. I think uh, I think it's great. All right, all right. So, <clears throat> a couple other questions. Let's see. Uh, best breakfast food. It's got to be cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon I'm rolls. A, yeah, I'm a fat boy, so you know if you can get any kind of sugar into my breakfast, I'll love it. <laughs> all right. All right. Are you a um, snow or sand kind of person? Probably sand. I don't like being cold, but. You know, for wrestling, I got to make that exception a lot, but it's not too bad. I got you. What is a hate? What's a food that you don't really like? This is really basic, but I hate broccoli. You it's, hate uh, broccoli? Hate it. It's been my enemy since I was a kid. <laughs> All right. So if there's one thing, and I know you were cutting a little bit of weight, not maybe not a hard cut, but you know, you're watching what you ate and that sort of thing. Was there one thing that you missed this year that you wanted to eat that you had to wait until the season was done? So I'm a really big fast food guy. Um, all of my teammates know it. So going to school, there's McDonald's right on my route. And I used to stop there for breakfast, but you know, during the season, I can't do that. So I definitely was missing a little McDonald's McGriddle. That was a, that was a, a big vice I have. A McGriddle, mm -hmm. huh? It's not the best, but when you're when you're craving it, you want it. All right, all right, all right. I love it. All right. So, what is a talent that Maddox MacArthur has off the mat that nobody or very few people know about? Um, I'm pretty good at like wake sports, so like out on the lake. Um, I used to be able to do a backflip. I don't know if I can anymore, but you know, just kind of, I got a lot of random skills that not many people would expect just what? by looking at me. All right, all right. So, so a backflip on a wakeboard is that what you're saying, basically? Or uh, I've done it once. I thought I might have died. I hit my head pretty hard, but it's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I can do it. I don't know if, I can, but we'll see. I got you. I got you. All right. So let's uh, let's delve into wrestling a little bit and talk about how you started wrestling. When you started wrestling, who got you into it? What's the story of your beginning? So um, I started wrestling when I was six years old. My older cousins and my dad were all wrestlers. So, you know, like every kid, they just want to be just like they're they were basically my big brothers. So I wanted to be just like them. So as soon as I could, I was on the wrestling mat, um, you know, just a little club team right by my right by my house and would basically go there and just goof off, run around and, you know, Probably didn't really take anything serious until I was about eight. But, yeah, just through my dad and uh, my older cousins, just wanted to be like them. Did you – did you um, – did you did you enjoy it? Or were you a little bit like, I'm not 100% sure about this? You said it was fun. So that's good that it, when you were six years old, it was just a fun thing to do. Yeah. Um, you know, it was, I definitely enjoyed it. I uh, I'm a pretty easygoing guy, so – you know, even during like the hard stuff, I can still find a way to smile and laugh. Um, but 
you know, we played a lot of games as a kid. I really enjoyed, you know, I don't know if people remember, but that game Foxtails where you have your shirt, mm-hmm. like your back pocket, you know, that was a big thing for me. I'd wait for the end of practice so we could play that. Um, but, yeah, I loved it. You know, I'm a very hands-on guy, so I love wrestling. You know, it's definitely one of my favorite things to do. So have you, uh, you, you've been on the receiving end as a student. Now that you're older, have you have you been given anything back as far as the little kids go? Do you show moves? Do you like that part of it too? Oh, I love that. Um, you know, I've got two younger brothers, um, one who's coming into high school next year. So I've been wrestling with him a lot, you know, getting him ready. And then I have a nine-year-old brother who's, um, he's coming up. We're trying to get him, get him going. So try and show him a little bit when I can. Um, you know, sadly, I'm pretty busy during the season. So I end up missing a lot of his stuff. But, you know, whenever I get the chance, I try and help him after practice and, you know, down in our basement where we got mats. So if you were to, um, you know, new kids say, say, say it could be a little kid. It could be a freshman coming in. It could be one of your brothers, although I don't know that, you know, you have such a relationship with your brothers, but somebody who's new to the sport, what, what would be kind of some advice you would, you would give them? You know, I think, I think just pace and aggression is a huge weapon. Um, you know, you lot, you watch a lot of kids wrestle and it's not always the best wrestler that wins. It's usually the guy who's willing to work the hardest during the match. Um, you know, just going out there, being willing to score and put yourself in tough positions. Like you look at a Mitchell Messenbrink, I mean, he just brings it for seven minutes. Um, he'll give up points, but, I mean, he's going to find a way to score just by wearing the guy down. So, you know, yeah. I think that's the – I would give him is just, you know, being willing to work during the match, you know, not being afraid to get tired. So let's uh, let's go to the high school career, and you mentioned it at the very beginning of winning a title as a freshman, coming up short last year, and – I guess let's go back to that freshman year of winning a title. Uh, did you, did you kind of have that expectations? Were you like, what was, what was the mindset as a freshman? So, you know, for me, the goal has always been to go out there and dominate. You know, I try not to look too far into the season. And I vividly remember the very beginning of my freshman year, kids asking me, like, do you think you'll go undefeated? Do you think you'll want a state title? And, you know, my answer was always, you know, I don't know. I really had, I wouldn't say no expectations for myself, but I was really just focused on the next tournament. Um, So made the finals of a couple big tournaments early in the year and then, you know, competed well at tournaments like knockout and, um, you know, that kind of stuff and out of state. So I think that gave me a lot of confidence going into the postseason. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, really just wanted to see what I could do. You know, I was, I felt like I was pretty big for the weight as a freshman. And then, you know, I felt like I had the skills to go and do it. So I think I always knew I could win a state title. I just, you know, kind of did the stars to align. And luckily they did. So that freshman year walking out for the finals, were you were you nervous? Were you were you even thinking about it? What what was going through Maddox McCarthy's head? So, you know, you know how it is at the state tournament. You never really know when you're gonna start. You never really know when you're gonna wrestle. Mm-hmm. Um it's kind of you know, you make weight, and then you could wrestle in an hour. It could be four hours. Well, I was on the receiving end of that four hours. I probably paced back and forth with sweats on and warmed up three different times and was just as nervous as all could be. You know, you you finally make it to that moment, especially as a freshman. Um, and, you know, you're probably panic sweating in the back. But I feel like that's definitely something I've improved on. But, yeah, I was super, super nervous and excited as a freshman. So you come back next year, the the next year, and and you know you know Blue Stifler. I mean, you know you know the level of competition you have in in your bracket. Did you have an expectation of repeating, or was the mindset still the same? Of I'm just going to take the next match. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we both kind of knew it was going to be me and him in the state finals. Um, you know, we had split matches all year. Um, I had beaten him; he had beaten me. So was excited and nervous and knew it was going to be a tough match. So, you know, it was definitely more of a, like, try and take it one match at a time, but you definitely have it in the back of your head. Like, this is the kid I'm going to meet in the finals. This is the guy I have to beat. So, you know, there's definitely some days in practice where, you know, you're looking for good upper body kids, you know, kind of like him that can mimic his style. But, Mm -hmm. 
you know, I think overall, I mean, just, you know, having to train and, you know, having that one kid on your mind for, you know, four or five months, you know, it definitely made me better as a wrestler. So I'm really grateful for that experience, even though I, you know, didn't come out on top in the end. Well, you did come out on top this past year, although I will say your finals match was a was a banger. Can you take us through kind of that finals match and kind of how all that played out? Yeah. So, I mean, I wrestled the Camden kid a couple of times. He's, you know, super tough kid, you know, really good on top, very strong, um, has a killer inside trip. So definitely had to look out for that. But um, yeah, just knew I had to go in there, be tough, hand fight, um, hold good position and get out on bottom. You know, mm -hmm. the uh, period, it was a lot of just like, you know, you're under the light. So it's definitely a little bit tighter than I would have liked. You know, I really, you know, I talked about it earlier. I like to try and open it up. I try and like to score a lot of points. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to just be willing to hand fight and stay in the fight. So that's what I was able to do. I got a tough ride in the third period to uh, to win the match. Mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, he's a great competitor. And, you know, super glad that we got to share the mat a couple times this year. Very cool. All right. So just a couple more questions. Uh, who's uh, – Who's who's the best wrestler you've ever wrestled? It's a tough question. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't have to be a match. It could be in practice. It could be at a camp. It could be anywhere. I've wrestled a little bit with um, David Taylor up in those M two camps. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten to wrestle a lot of really high level guys throughout the years, but I've been really grateful for the the partners that I've had. You know. Every day in the room, I'm getting drilled. Drew Gorman, you know, national champ, a couple times state champ, you know, super high in the national ranking. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, and then I've gotten to wrestle with, you know, Thomas Gilman, a couple guys like that. So, you know, I'm super grateful for all the opportunities I've had, you know, to wrestle with some of the best. Yeah. Is there is there anything you took away from rolling with like Taylor or Gilman that you were like, wow, like I, that's something that I need to know. <laughs> You know, Gilman's underhook series was a big thing for me. Like, I remember, I think I was around 14 when I got to wrestle with him, and he just grabbed me. And we took a picture beforehand, and I originally, like, was underneath his arm, and he, like, slapped my arm away and got an underhook on me. It was like, I'm always inside. So that that always <laughs> stuck out. Um, but, you know, there's little things like that, like super high-level competitors like that. They're always thinking like that, which is, you know, as a 14 year old kid, I couldn't imagine that, you know, but yeah. now I'm here with like my little siblings and I don't like them being underneath me. I like, I like having the underhook. Um, don't like to give them any, any wins, a any advantage, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. So what is next up for Maddox MacArthur? It could be like the next up as far as two months from now, or it could be next up. Like, where do we see Maddox <laughs> MacArthur in, in two years? Um, you know, I've got NHSCA coming up, so really trying to train hard and peak for that. And then we'll take a couple more visits and, you know, hopefully start narrowing down where we're going to spend the next four to five years. So super excited for that. All right. And the last question I have for everybody is why wrestle? Why wrestling? What is it about wrestling that makes it special? You know, it's – um, I just think how tough it is. You know, I've played a lot of different sports. You know, I did everything as a kid. And it's crazy to me now, like, looking back on it, that the thing I've enjoyed the most has been by far the most difficult. You know, the weight cuts, the hard practices, you know. There's times I'm walking out of practice where I'll lose seven, eight pounds and just shorts and a T-shirt just because we worked so hard. But, I mean, there's just so much pride in it where, you know, you know if you win, you did the work. And if you lost, you know the other guy did more than you. So yeah, I love it. It's definitely been, you know, probably one of the best things in my life. It's been a super, you know, humbling experience, you know, every day going into a room where, you know, there's two, three guys that can kick your butt. So you gotta, you know, every day you gotta come prepared, but it's been great. Well, you know, wouldn't change. Well, Maddox, I want to say congratulations again, getting back to the top step. Best of luck in the, coming months and and in the future and i mean i'll see you in all over the place man yes sir all right take care all right take care